Have you ever been lost? It's a very debilitating feeling to think you don't know where you are and you really don't know what to do. Hi, Alex McFarland here, and I want to talk a moment about identity and context, to know who you are, to know where you are, and to have the security of understanding your sense of place. You know, in the Bible, in Colossians 2, verse 10, there's a wonderful reality from the Word of God. This is amazing. It says of the believer... You are complete in Christ and have need of nothing. I mean, think about that. Complete, stable, secure, whole. Uh, In a broken world, the believer can be whole. That's very empowering. I I do a lot of research uh, with adolescent development. And more and more uh, sociologists are concerned that there is a sense of, of loss of identity. Kids really don't know their place in the world. Now, part of that is not only the breakdown of the family and in the lives of many young people, the absence of a stable two-parent home, but even in the West, even in America, a loss of Christianity, a loss of moral boundaries, but here in our own nation, a loss of patriotism. Uh, We don't have a sense of citizenship and patriotism anymore, and we need to recover those things. Do you know, it's very empowering to know who you are, to know your place, and to know what your competencies are. I was watching a video recently of Michael Jordan back when he was leading the Chicago Bulls to multiple national championships. And he was on the free throw line one time, and this game hung in the balance, and his buddies were ribbing him. He was going to take a free throw that could win or lose a game. Michael Jordan, some say the best basketball player ever, just to show his guys, I don't know what he said, but he he was like, watch this. And he closed his eyes and he did the free throw, swish, nailed it with his eyes shut. That's the confidence that comes from knowing who you are and your competencies. And do you know, we Christians, we can know, not for arrogance or being cocky, but we know that we are secure in Christ. John 10, 28 says that he'll never leave us or forsake us. And do you know what? That confidence, not arrogant, but stable, not cocky, but confident. You can have that because you need to know that God does love you. (laughs) Look, it doesn't matter what you've done. He can forgive it. It doesn't matter what's been done to you. He can heal it. And the Bible says that the Lord is the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's not going to turn coat and abandon you. The Bible says his mercies are new every morning. Jeremiah 29 promises God has a plan for you and for me. God knows that plan. And God is so wise and so powerful that even if we blow it and we mess up, if we simply turn to Christ, he can restart the, the, the story and weave you back into his perfect plan and place of blessing. So I want to encourage you, if you know the Lord, that's great. Help others understand that love and that wholeness through Jesus. But if you need to turn back to Christ, we want to help you. I'd love to send you this little book. Quarter million people have gotten this little brown book. What does God say about my relationship with him? So thanks for watching. Please know, listen, Jesus is as close by as a prayer. And yes, you can be in Christ complete. Please share this video. Like us on social media. My website is alexmcfarland.com. Any way we can help you in your walk and your witness, please reach out to us. God bless you. And may God be with you in all things. Have you ever wanted to raise your hand during a sermon? Well, here's your chance. Hi, Alex McFarland here from the nationally syndicated radio program, Exploring the Word. For more than 10 years, my co-host, Bert Harper, and I have taught scripture and answered hundreds of Bible questions. We've compiled a brand new book of the top 100 Bible questions from listeners of all ages, from questions about supposed Bible contradictions to apologetics facts that prove the truths of Scripture. This new book features practical content that will make the Bible come alive for you. 
Can we really be sure that God exists? Are there contradictions in the Bible? I need a book that will help me understand the Bible better. There is so much good content in this book. 100 Bible Questions and Answers, published by Broad Street Publishers and available online at your local bookstores and also through afastore.net.